off your fabrics by making a lampshade. Um, the everything you need is in this kit. All you need to do is pick whichever fabric that you want. Um, I probably advise just to use a quilting weight cotton and um, today we have chosen this one. First of all, I'm going to have um, I'm going to show you what is inside the box. Okay, so it doesn't look like a lot, but this is everything you need to create your lampshade. You'll have this um, like sticky adhesive. There are two rings. So there is one where the light bulb fitting goes, and the other one is the bottom. And you can make these so that they hang from the ceiling or they can be a light shade, um, like on, a, on an actual lamp. So you can do it whichever way you prefer. The instructions are in full colour and pictures, which is really helpful. Um, so you've got your instructions. This bit is part of the light fitting. You have double-sided tape and you have this little tool which um, will all make sense as we go on. So that's everything in your box. So to show you just how easy this is to make, I have enlisted the help of my cameraman. This is George and George is seven. And this light fitting is for the playroom. Tell me George, why did you pick this fabric? Because if it, the lights were off, you could see all the glowing dark space people and all the planets. Yes, this is space glow from Lewis, Lewis and Irene and it glows in the dark. So hopefully, once the lights put on, when we turn it off, it's going to stay glowing at least for a little bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's going to look really cool. It's a good choice. So, George, I haven't told you how to make this beforehand, have I? No. No, so we're going to do this together. So this is 30 centimetres worth of fabric. And as you can see, it is, I've done it so it's slightly bigger than this, just so we've got a little bit to play with. This pattern is really forgiving. So if we don't get it dead straight, it's not going to be the end of the world. If you pick anything with stripes or a really obvious repeat, then be aware that you're going to have to be super accurate at this point. Right, so this bit here peels off. Like this mm -hmm. and this bit here is really sticky so this is what's going to stick on the wrong side of our fabric now I'm going to start this off right on the edge about here does that line look straight does it look straight like along the edge yeah yeah right I'm going to pull this and you're going to smooth it out for me as we go are you ready yeah okay so smooth it out smooth it out like this that's it Now I have made one of these without the help of George, so it is possible to do it on your own, but I thought it would be a fun thing for us to do together since it's for the playroom. Wait a minute, I think we've got a bump there. Let me just check. Oh no, we're alright, we're alright. Try not to move it. That's it. Rub, rub, rub. Keep this straight. Just there. I've not killed this bit yet. Okay. Right, now what we do is we are going to check that it's not got any lumps or bumps in it. I have ironed the fabric before we did this as well, which is really important. You don't want any creases in it. But I think we've done a pretty good job there, dude. It looks nice and smooth, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think we haven't been 100% straight, but that's pretty, pretty good going. We don't need any of this excess, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, cut this off. Now, you can do this with scissors, but I do find it's easier with a rotary cutter. So, I am going to use a rotary cutter. I've left, this isn't in the instructions, which I, the first time round that I did it, I, um, I ended up cutting a little bit of the plastic off instead because I didn't leave a little bit extra. Um, and I think 
if you tuck that over, it leaves um, a nicer finish on the lampshade. When we get to that bit, it will make more sense. So on one side, leave a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and the rest of it, the seam allowance is included, so just go as close as you can to the plastic. Like I said, I did do this with scissors, and it was a little bit tricky. Watch your fingers do. blade in. It's not like an it at all. I don't want to go over the plastic because that really will kill the blade. Okay, excuse me. Not going to let you do this bit. Fingers have been lost using rotary cutters. Better, you're less likely to get fraying than when you use the scissors. Plastic on plastic is a bit slippy. Okay. This is already looking really cool. Look, you can already tell what it's going to look like. You happy? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Right, so. Now, I don't know if you can see this, George. There's like a line. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to fold it over. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. See so it's all popping. Like yeah, that. like that. So we need to do that all the way across. Oh, it looks like some fabrics coming off there. That's okay, we'll sort that afterwards. Just make sure you've bent it all the way along. Okay, how did you find that? It was quite tricky. Sometimes you might get a tiny mistake. But it hasn't affected, it's only been a mistake on the bit we're going to peel off anyway, isn't it? So you just have to be a little bit gentle, but it's all, it's all looking really good. So now we have to peel these bits off. So this bit can make the fabric fray. So when you do it, try and peel it away. Or you might just need to cut some of these bits that fray off. So we're gonna do this top one first together, dude. So can you peel this off? That's it. Yeah. Right, and then we'll do this bottom one. So this one is um, full. Is it still stuck a bit there? That's okay, keep going. A little bit of frame doesn't matter. All of these raw edges are all going to be hidden. So that is not a problem. So you should have something that looks like this. We're going to put this bit to one side for now. So I'm just going to leave it here and get rid of the rubbish. Okay, so this bit um, gets a bit sticky and it gets a bit fiddly, so it's why it's handy to have a second person, but it's not essential. What we need to do now, George, is we need our double-sided sticky tape. Have you used double-sided sticky tape before? Uh, I think so, at school. Yeah. Now, I, you get loads of this, you always have some left over, it's always handy to have some spare, so um, don't worry too much if you end up going wrong, because they do allow for that. Put that there for now. Right, we need to do one strip here, this is going to be on the edge where I left that seam allowance. What I'm going to do on this one is I'm actually going to do two next to each other because I've left that seam allowance. It does overlap, so this won't be a problem. 
when we peel this up, um, we'll put the tape, we'll fold the tape back around, so that's okay. Right. Now, we need to put this tape all the way around here. So if I, you do, do you want to like stick it down like this, make sure it's in the centre. That's it. The only day I've asked George to do a video with me is the day that he comes back up ink all over his hands from school. We can't wash it off, can we? No. Good toys, we tried. Yeah, it looks better than it did. Let's go all the way around. You're doing a good job there folding it round. Okay, so we've finished putting the double-sided tape now on our two rings. Thank you, George. Um, now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So put that one down. Where's the end? We should have remembered where the end was. There it is. Okay, so we're going to peel back the red and leave the sticky on there. Once you get going, it's fine. Okay. Now, I need you to hold this. Don't hold the sticky bit. This is when it's handy to have a second person, but it's not the end of the world. You can put it down for a bit. It's not going to completely lose its stick. Just don't put it down on anything fabric or fluffy. Or soft. Yeah, just our cutting mat's fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, Where's the end of this one? Uh, there it is, there. Yeah, I think. So what George has got is the top, and it needs to <coughs> face inwards. So you're holding it the right way at the moment, which is good. And that's going to go at the top. Double check your fabric, and make sure if, it, if it's not multi-directional that it's facing the right way, because that would be really annoying. We have checked ours, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We've decided to have, this is the top, but it doesn't really matter too much with this fabric, which is always a bonus. George, can you hold this a second, actually? Um, because I've done the extra step of the seat, leaving the seam allowance, I'm just going to peel this first bit of tape off. And I'm just going to fold that over. Um, that's fine. Now, so we want to start this end and we're going to work our way to this end. Can you please hold this bit flat? Let go, hold this bit flat. So we're going to line this, keep it steady. We're going to put this so it's dead, dead on the edge, okay? Can you put your hand through the hoop? <laughs> This hoop, I need to put this hoop down, that's it. Can you line that up for me? It, it needs to be on the inside. So lift it up again. So it's on the white. Just to the lift bit off again. There. Yeah. Mm. No. Can you hold it. you hold this one for me and then I'll show you? Hold it. That's it. Okay, so we want it to be on the white, dead on the edge, so it's not on the fabric, okay? because we want that edge to be nice and smooth. Now what we've got to do is we've got to roll this at the same time. So can you just keep an eye and make sure it stays straight? You want to do that one, I'll do this one, or do it at the same speed. That's not straight, so go, we'll go back a bit. Go back a bit. That's it. move this bit closer to us, make life a bit easier. How are we looking? Is it looking good? Yeah. Mm. Right, stop there. We need to peel this bit of plastic off, this bit of tape. Um, and I am gonna, can you hold that open? I'm actually going to put another bit of tape on top of that, um, on top of that, 
on top of the fabric. He looks like Loki wants to join us. Yeah, he's always wants to join us, isn't he? Right, it does say in the instructions that you can use a seam roller to make this nice and smooth. But to be honest, your fingers work just as well. Um, if you hadn't done that little bit extra, then you'd have a raw edge at that point, which is why I said to fold it over. Um, and the fabric's not that thick, so I don't think it matters. Um, oh yeah, I just honestly think it looks loads better. You end up with a bit of bulk on these edges, so you might need to trim that down, but that's okay. Okay, so this bit is the is the, probably the bit that takes the longest. Um, we've got our fabric scissors, so what we're going to do is on these three bits here, we're just going to do a snip because we need to fold this fabric round. one here and I'm also going to just cut the inside bit over so it's less bulky there and I'm going to do that on this side as well okay we need to now fold this over George so do you think you could do that? Do you think you can push it over? Yep. Pull it nice and tight. Yep. Squish it down. We'll keep rolling. Right, there we go. So I have now done the bottom and I've done most of the top. So I've saved this last little bit to show you in a bit more detail. I've got my tool. You can cut this down, it's just it's just plastic, so you can cut this down if you find it easier or if it does start to blunt at all. What I've done is I first of all just gone quite roughly to tuck that first bit in. Then just keep going. I don't tend to use this spiky bit, but use whatever method you find easier. You just have to be patient with it. If you get any bits like this, then you can just trim them off. So you can see that bit there has come in together now. It's not difficult, um, but it is a little bit time consuming. You can just keep running that along like this and until all the bits are tucked away and it's really neat. I actually had a look at a shop ball lampshade that I had to compare and I do think this looks neater. When you get to the corner, like this bit you can see, I have only just trimmed, you don't want to trim it too far, just up to about here um, so that you can tuck it round. Our lampshade is made. George, what do you think? It looks good. Are you impressed? Yeah. Now what do we need to do? Uh, I think uh, it was to hang it. Yeah, we need to go and put it in the playroom. See if it works. Right, we'll do that next. And our lampshade is up and hanging and we think it looks great. There's just one thing to check. Does it glow in the dark? That looks so cool.